go and a stamp it. Ultra scan diagnostic cell. The area of interest is all four wisdom teeth for um, evaluation. Now we'll start with the top right. The transaxial view, you can see that the top right wisdom tooth is ghastly carious. There is no periapical radiodocencies that can be um, seen with this tooth. Uh, but we do, however, see that this is a ghastly carious tooth with no crown structure uh, whatsoever. And we don't see any significant sinusitis associated with it. The bottom right wisdom tooth, however, is very closely associated with the inferior alveolar nerve. The tooth is positioned lingual to the nerve and it is also compressing the nerve at one point here you can very clearly see this is the apex of the wisdom tool and this is the inferior alveolar nerve this is a vertical impaction this is a, uh, almost completely embedded in the bone and here you can see that it is not enveloped um, it's not uh, it's not enveloping around the inferior alveolar nerve but it is very closely associated and hence can cause damage um, at the time of extraction. Moving to the top left wisdom tooth, again you can see periapical radiodocencies and um, uh, remnants of BDRs um, in the upper left segment. Whereas the lower right segment you can see it has a class 1 KDS lesion right here. And the mesial root is slightly far away, however the distal root um, is more closer to the inferior alveolar nerve. It's not um, as closely associated as on the right side, um, it might appear as it is um, overlapping, but it actually um, is on the lingual aspect, whereas the nerves on the buccal aspect. Um, so this is something we see on the lower left side as well. Um, we're going to show you the coronal view, which is the, um, the front to back view. And on the coronal view, also you will be able to appreciate that this is the wisdom tooth on the right side, and this is the wisdom tooth on the left hand side. Thank you very much.